Hey guys, this is Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipop Tarot bringing Leo their weekly love read. Leo, this is for the week of the 25th of July through the 31st. Happy, happy Leo season, guys. I'm filming this on the 23rd, so our season is just beginning, guys. Happy Leo season. Um, we are going to get some cards today on the thoughts, the uh, blockages, the actions, and the outcomes between you and the person on your mind. So this could be a person on your mind or a person coming towards you if you don't have anyone in mind. We're also going to get some romance and love journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot, the Hermit Tarot channeled love messages, heart to heart messages from Crystal Moon Oracles, and the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle cards from Angela Hartfield. So we're going to get into it, guys. Um, keep in mind, these are general reads. Um, if you feel like this is not your read, then feel free to check your moon or your rising signs. Um, there are, or There is a website linked in the description box below if you don't know what those are to get you that information. And there's also a link in the description box below to get you to my personal webpage if you're looking for a personal read. So thanks, guys, for coming. Let's get into it. Oh, your person thinks you're the Ten of Cups. They, they love you. They love you. They love you, love you, love you. They think, oh, wow, this person thinks you're their soulmate. We have the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups. This is happily ever after, true love, soulmate energy, um, marriage, kids, house, picket fence. And this is soul connection. This is reunion. This is someone that your soul knows. Whether this is someone you know from your current past or past lives, this is a soul connection. Very nostalgic, very warm. This person, like when, you, when you're with this person, you just know. They'll just know. There's like a huge connection. Um, their thoughts, uh, I feel like they think, I feel like they have to get their life stabilized. They could potentially be going through a divorce um, but they do want, they're thinking about sending you some messages. They're thinking about reaching out to you and communicating to you. I feel like they, though, need to get, either they're going through a divorce or they're getting their, their life kind of balanced out. All right, what's blocking this situation at the moment? What's blocking this situation for Leo's person? I kind of feel like those two need to come out. Hmm, yeah. Um, so you guys could potentially be dealing with a Gemini or Pisces even. Um, I know that moon is cancer for some people, but to me it's Pisces. Um, so what's blocking them? I feel like they're working a lot, guys, or they're working on themselves. So three of pentacles is like uh, being willing to be a teammate, putting in work. I feel like um, they're either working on themselves or they're working too much. They're, like, they're working on their finances, working at their job a little bit too much. I do see a blockage. Um, the lover's card is like an amazing card, right? It's true love. It's soulmate energy. Um, but it's also a choice in love. So I feel like uh, there could be some competing forces here in making this choice. It does not have to be two people. Could be, excuse me, could be two people. If they're just getting a divorce, it very much could be um, the conflict between their current divorce is so current um, or recent divorce. Um and you or it could be like between work and you it could be lots of things but they're they're having to make a choice in love i do see them sitting in the energy of anxiety and stress um definitely anxiety and stress and i feel like they're kind of trying to get some fun back into their life um so you know they have work and they have some fun and they're they're not really making a choice uh or they're they're having to make a choice um between love and something else I kind of feel like that's it, it came out right underneath the justice card. So I kind of feel like that's them going through um, a breakup, whether it's a divorce or just a breakup, getting themselves balanced out. And they're focused on getting themselves kind of taken care of before they come to you. All right. So what are their actions going to be towards you, Leos? What are their actions going to be towards you? Ace of Cups. They're going to be offering you a new cup of love. Ooh, those cards would. The Devil and the King of Wands. Intense, intense sexual passion and chemistry. Um, interesting, guys. Um, so they, so their actions. We have the Ace of Cups, the Devil, the King of Wands, and then the High Priestess. So it's potential that they are just thinking about these things and not doing anything with this 
high priestess here um, because the high priestess kind of keeps things to herself. I think this is more of like a planning. They're planning these things because we also have the Knight of Cups, which I'm not doing bad in the deck energy till the last row, but um, we have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I feel like they're planning to come towards you um, to offer you this new love. I, I think they're planning on telling you how freaking passionate they feel about you. They're, they feel it's fiery, it's sexy, it's flirty, it's lustful. It is um, the kind of connection that they cannot stop thinking. About. It's addictive. It's um, um, because of you, Neo Song, because of you. It's like an addiction. It's like a drug. It's like they can't get enough of you sexually, um, uh, physically. But they definitely have true love for you as well. So it's not just a, a sexually driven connection, but uh, intense chemistry and passion. So intense that it's almost obsessive. Um, not in a destructive way, just in a way like they can't keep their hands off you. With the King of Wands showing up here, this is just passion on top of passion to me. Like, um, look at him smoldering. Just like he's going to tear you apart with that look in his eyes or her whatever. But I feel like with the high priestess ending off that row, it's, it's all these thoughts that they're putting into place. They're planning this. They're planning all this coming towards you. I don't know if they're doing that right now, but they're planning on it. They're thinking about how do I do this? How do I come across? How does this person, how is this Leo going to know that I mean business? Because they mean business, you guys. They mean business. What's going to be the outcome between the two of you, Leo? What's going to be the outcome between the two of you? That's interesting, too, because you got three major arcanas in the second row. You got the justice, the lovers, and the devil. Ace of Pentacles. New, stable, loyal, committed start. They're going to have an offer of a new start with you. The Nine of Cups, you're their wish fulfillment. <laughs> they might be your wish fulfillment, too. The Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Um, I feel like uh, there will be a little bit of self-doubt here. Um, there will be a little bit of sabotage, I think, on your part, Leo. I think you're going to be questioning it. I feel like you're going to be a bit confused. <laughs> and you're going to be, like, really thinking, like, is this, is this real? Is this real? Is this the real deal? Um, but you will. So the outcome is this Queen of Pentacles. This outcome is a stable, committed, loyal start. It is... Um, a nurturing situation. It's uh, financially stable. It's caretaking. It's definitely uh, direct messages of love, romantic proposals. I definitely see true love and true commitment here. Um, but I think, Leo, on your part, you're going to be like, what? <laughs> you're going to feel it. You're going to understand it. Um, but you're not really uh, gonna believe it. It's gonna take you a minute. I wish I was clarifying these a little bit more because I would clarify these two cards, but um, I definitely feel like that's more your energy, Leo. This person's gonna make a, a choice and come forward. They're planning it already. They're planning what they want to do, um, but you're gonna be kind of taken aback. Twin flame, guys. Twin flame. Wow. These are the um, love and romance journey from Queen Sugar Tarot. So this is a potential twin flame connection, yeah? Communication, that's an eight of wands. Wife. Guarded. I was going to say all we need is husband to pop out. We're good. Marriage. <laughs> Magnetic connection. I took more cards than I have been for this one, but so we have twin flame, we have communication, we have wife, we have guarded. I think that's you, Leo. You can be a little guarded. We have marriage, and then on the bottom of this deck, we have magnetic connection. I told you that passion is going to be off the hook, off the hook. All right, we're going to get some Hermit Tarot channeled love messages from Hermit Tarot. For Leo's. <laughs> I imagine you naked. Eight. Holy smokes. Sex with you. Six. I'm telling you, passion's going to be off the hook. Whew. 
intense, intense. I kind of feel like they see you as their light, right? Like you do that Leo, that fiery, sexy, flirty energy yourself. Ace of Wands, guys, that magic stick. I got the magic stick. If you listen to that song too, uh, Lil, Kim, Lil Kim's got a magic stick too. What? What? <laughs> it goes both ways, male or female. Not really a stick, right? But, um, listen to the song. All right, heart to heart messages from Crystal Moon Oracle from for Leos. What are the heart to heart messages that Leo needs to hear? I'm planning my move. What did I tell you guys? They're they're planning it. They're thinking it to themselves. They're figuring out what their moves are going to be. They're they are figuring it out. They're planning their move. Buckle your seatbelts, Leo. I can't wait to fall asleep in your arms. Hmm. Please don't give up on us. Hmm. That's exciting. I'm excited. I just want to love you the way you deserve to be. When the time is right, I will be with you. You got a couple extra bonus cards, guys. We'll just say it's because it's Leo season. All right. We're going to get Whispers of the Ocean Oracle cards. This deck is from Angela Hartfield. So what does Leo need to see? What's the message for Leo? Breakthrough to New Dimensions, the 25th, 25th. Um, a new endeavor is on the horizon. Innovative energy wants to burst forth into your consciousness. You know, it's funny. I did a card poll earlier. I'm a Leo. My birthday is actually the 25th of July. Um, and I did a card poll earlier when I got this deck yesterday. And that is the card that popped out when I did it for myself. So I think this is interesting. All right. So I'm going to read from this booklet. I tend to flub up my reading when I read out loud in front of a camera or people. Um, so let's just get into it. You are being brought energy, renewed hope, faith, and a sense that you are truly blessed by the universe at this time. And I always say the universe is God. I don't believe that the universe is just doing things. It's God. Um, courage, achievement, and inspiration are in place in your life. You are entering an energetic phase of your life filled with impactful power. Work towards developing a profound perception of yourself and those who are around you. Have faith for the long term and trust the universe. Trust God. A better future is waiting for you. It is necessary to trust your dreams, trust that your dreams are possible. This faith will help you push through obstacles, limitations, or other barriers to achieving your goal. The humpback whale can be very energetic when launching its huge body out of the water in a breach and then falling back. Breaching may be an act of play or it could have some social meaning. Notice the fully white whale under the breaching whale. Oh, it's, it's in the water. Um, sorry. Uh, albino humpback whales are extremely rare. Migaloo or white fella is the name the Australians gave the first albino humpback whale seen in their waters. When a Megaloo was first sighted, he was thought to be the only white whale in the world. A white calf believed to be his offspring has now been spotted. Seeing Megaloo or Megaloo Jr. is considered a blessing and a sign of luck. All right, Leos, that concludes your read. Um, happy Leo season. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, before I forget, if you guys are interested in getting a free love from a free love from me, no, a free love reading from me. Um, there is a YouTube video that you have to go to. I think it's just called Free Love Reading. Um, oops, Violet wants to say hi, guys. Say hi, bye-bye. Um, if you go to that video, sorry, guys. If you go to that video, um, you have to like it, comment, and subscribe to my channel. But you have to do it on that video. Doing those three things will put you into the reading. So please go to that video if you're trying to get into the contest. Like it, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, otherwise, guys, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Hi, Violet. Hi, bye-bye. Um, ow, ow, ow. 
<laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.